Hi guys, today I am here to discuss about electric potential and potential difference. So we are going to start that. I hope everything is going good. In my previous lecture, we have already discussed about electric current and the direction of electric current, equation of electric current, even we have already discussed about the dimension and unit of electric current. Now, today our new topic is electric potential and potential difference. So we could to start this topic. Let me start with some basic thing of electrostat so that it can be easy for you to understand this electric potential as well as the potential difference. Okay, so basic thing of electrostat. First, basic law. Basic law of electrostat. Though these things is uh, really known for everyone from class 8, we can say that basic law of electrostat states that light charges are repel each other, whereas the unlike charges are attract each other. Very simple things means if we consider two positive charges, here is positive charge and here is also another positive charge, then these two charges will repel each other. If we consider the negative charge, then also the same thing we can observe this minus q and suppose this is minus q these things also will repel each other whereas if we consider a positive charge and a negative charge then these two will attract each other this thing is this thing is known as basic law of electrostat so here this positive charge is actually attracted to this by this force whereas this negative charge is attracted to this positive charge by this force whereas if we consider this first above these two cases then this positive charge is actually repelled by this positive charge by this force and this one by this force means the vice versa for the negative charge also the same thing we can observe okay this thing we have done in class 8 now we will start something new what was that nothing but field electric field this electric field is actually denoted by a term of E now what is this electric field if we hold a positive charge or a negative charge whatever way it is if we hold a charge, then around this charge, there is a space. Within that, if we bring a second charge, then this second charge will attract or repel by this first one. Now that space around this charge is electric field. For negative charge also, the same thing. Means if we hold this charge around this, this space is electric field. Now, Theoretically, this space or we can say so practically this space, space is valid up to certain region but in mathematically if we go then it is valid up to infinity. So here we can say if we hold a positive charge or a negative charge means any type of charge then around this there is a space in which if we bring any other charges then that charge will attract or repel by this first one means if we if we just consider a positive charge here then this positive charge will be repelled by this charge if we consider a negative charge then this negative charge will attract by this positive charge or this charge means this positive positive charge as well as this negative charge are within this electric field of this positive charge okay now if we place this positive or negative charge here then it will not experience any type of force we can say practically but theoretically or mathematically it will experience okay now this charge which is creating this space is nothing but source charge and the other type of charge which we place within this field to test whether the field is present or not is nothing but test charge means if we want to place 
or if we want to test the electric field for this short charge is there or not then we have to place one charge that charge is test charge conventionally this test charge is a positive charge always now you may ask why said it is positive we can't say anything about this because it's convention taken by scientists and we are not scientists so we have to maintain this only okay now this is a positive charge and this test charge is generally we consider as a unit charge means the value or the magnitude of this charge is one okay so that's all about electric field now if anyone want to find out the electric field at any point suppose p point if anyone want to find out field at this p point then that field will called as electric field intensity at that point or you may say simply electric field intensity means this p point suppose this p point is situated at a distance of r then what to do at this point we have to place one test charge okay now electric field at a point p ep can be written as f means force experienced by this positive test charge at this point to the charge means if we want to place a q charge here then whatever force will experience by this q charge at this point to this test charge only or to this q charge only give us the electric field at this point okay this a by q also can be written by k q by r square now what is this q this q is nothing but this source charge means this equation equation of electric field at a point p can be written by force per charge even this thing also can be written by k q by r square where this k is a constant term you learned about this constant term in higher class means in class 12 whereas this capital q is the source charge for this this electric field create and r is the distance of the point p from the source charge that's all you have to remember only this much only nothing else okay now the main topic or our today's topic potential and potential difference let's talk about potential okay so let's discuss about this point electric potential so from the above two things one can easily say that if anyone will put a positive charge means a source charge at any point then around this there will be a space which is called as electric field now if anyone want to put a test charge at this point suppose point p then what will happen of course sir this is a positive charge because we are placing the test charge and this is also a positive charge so for this positive charge means for this source charge capital q this test charge whatever we will place here this test charge will move along this direction up to which point it will move obviously sir as there is no other force so it will move up to infinity it will move up to infinity now if anyone want to actually put this positive charge here then he must bring that charge from infinity to that point means he have to do some work done work done against which force against electrostatic force okay so if we want to find out potential at this point then we have to bring this test charge from infinity to this point against the electrostatic force within this electric field so that will give us electric potential at this point p so if everyone want to say potential at the point of p is vp then potential can be say 
by this definition as electric potential at the point of P is defined as the amount of work done required to bring a positive charge or positive test charge from infinity to that point within this electric field means it is the ratio of work done to bring it from infinity to the point of P to the charge which charge we are bringing means if we want to bring this Q charge and means if we want to place this Q charge then that Q charge will be here so work done VP equal to W infinity P to Q okay now this thing also can be written by K Q by small r means here this distance is nothing but small r and Q is the source charge means we can write this electric potential in this form of work done to the charge which we are bringing even in respect to source charge we can write K Q by r K is constant Q is source charge and r is the distance of the point p from the source charge that's all okay now look at this very carefully if we consider another point here suppose this is p and this one is n what will happen for this point n let us assume this p point is at a distance of okay uh, let it be uh, some other point suppose a and this point is B. Suppose this R A A point is at a distance of R1 and this B point at a distance of R2. Therefore, B A can be written by K Q by R1 and V B can be written as K Q by R2. I hope there is no problem at all. Okay, now this R1 and R2 from this diagram one can easily say that R2 greater than R1 and potential is inversely proportional to the distance as pro uh, potential is inversely proportional to distance means 1 by R so from these two equations one can say 1 by R2 means the small value compared to 1 by R1 means one can say this VA greater than V means what means the point which is near to positive charge holds the higher potential and the point which is the far distance from the positive charge is the less potential or you can say lower potential now what will happen for the negative charge is it valid for negative charge of course it is valid for negative charge let's cross it if we consider a negative charge suppose this is minus q charge Okay, so for this minus Q charge, of course, there will be field. Now, two points A, B, same thing, R1 and R2. Therefore, in this case, VA will be K minus Q, means minus Q by R1 and VB equal to minus K Q by R2. The same thing R2 greater than R1 but the fact is here minus sign is there. As it is a minus sign so inverse of that the small value will be a higher value. Small value will be the higher value means what? Means here VB greater than VA. So one can say the point which is near to negative charge will be a less potential or lower potential and which one is far from the negative charge will be higher potential okay now let's talk about this potential difference pd simple potential difference and uh, we are discussing this potential difference for this electro study so Again the same thing, a positive charge around this, this field, we consider two point, A point and B point 
Now potential at this point is BA and potential at this point is BB and what is this potential at the point of A and potential at the point of B we have already discussed. Now look at this. This BA and VB are not same. Means there is a difference of potential. There is a difference of potential which is known as potential difference but we cannot say the difference of potential between the two points is potential difference it's really a uh, silly things now what we will say we will say that if anyone want to bring a charge suppose a q charge means test charge from b point to a point then whatever work done he have to do per unit charge means per unit this charge will give us the potential difference in between these two points again i'm saying means if you want, want to bring this positive charge then there there is a source charge positive charge this positive charge will repel to this positive charge but we want to bring it that means we have to do some work done means we have to do work done this work done per charge will give us the electric potential difference between this two points. So here we can say as B A minus B B equal to W B A to charge. Means the potential difference between these two points A and B can be write as W B A to charge. Means work done to charge okay i hope it's clear to you all now what will be the unit of these things so we would start this unit we are we i have already discussed all these things with respect to electrostat now what about the kind electricity in kind electricity also we have to say uh, about this potential difference and how we can deal this potential difference uh, with respect to electricity. Now look at this place. Now in kind electricity um, circuit diagram, if we consider this is a um, cell, consider this is a cell. Here is a positive charge and this one is a negative charge. Now this thing is connected by a small battery here. Okay. If we consider two points, suppose these two points, this point is A and this point is B. Look at this very carefully. This A point is connected with directly to this positive pole, and this negative is connected with this B pole. Means what? This A must be in higher potential. And this negative is in lower potential. So one can say the positive source or positive cell is higher and this negative is lower. Why this lower and this one is higher? We have already discussed here. We have uh, already discussed this higher and lower within this portion. Okay. Now in this case, if anyone want to bring a charge, if anyone want to bring a charge, small q charge from point B to point A, then he have to do some work done. That work done on this charge will give us the potential difference between the point of B and A. Means VA minus VB will be W BA to charge. Or simply we can say as work done to charge. Now this charge is that which we are bringing in between this. So with respect to this electric uh, electricity, we can say this potential difference also the same thing as we have learned in electro step. Okay. Now Let's proceed with unit. Potential B 
can be written as work done. You need a work done in SI. What? You know? Yeah, Jul. And charge. That thing also, you know. Kulam. Therefore, Joule per Coulomb is the unit of potential. In one word, this Joule per Coulomb can be written as volt. From which is? Yes, one Italian physicist named Alessandro Volta. So from this Alessandro Volta, we came to know this unit as volt, V. So unit of potential is volt. Now what will be the definition of 1 volt? Of course, uh, 1 volt we can write as 1 joule 1 coulomb. Means the potential difference between the two points. Suppose this point of B and A. The potential difference between these two points is said to be 1 volt. If, if 1 joule of work has to be done to transfer one coulomb of charge in between these two points. Again, I'm saying the potential difference between these two points, A and B, is said to be one volt. If one joule of work has to be done to transfer one coulomb of charge in between these two. Okay. Now, the last thing for this topic potential and potential difference is nothing but dimension okay so what about this dimension a dimension volt or simply potential difference equal to joule joule means energy by charge now energy energy you can consider any type of equ um, equation of energy suppose we are considering mv square half mv square so half we just neglect for mass m and v square means l square c minus 2 so for energy dimension m l square c minus 2 what about the charge we know the equal uh, dimension of current is a and I equal to Q by T, so Q equal to I into T means I is A and time is T. So you can write as A is T. Therefore, it can be written as M A to the power minus 1 L square T minus 3. That's all. Very simple things. Okay. So Today we have already learned about potential and potential difference and between uh, among this potential and potential difference there are so many things we have already done. The next, in our next video we will proceed with electrical circuit, Ohm's law and resistance and different type of uh, problem based on the resistance. Okay and uh, one more thing I want to say some of the question based on this electric current and potential difference I will put in your group you have to solve it. That's all from my side. Thank you. Have a great day.